Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Nick Tierney with Regen Med Circles, and I'm here with uh, Michael Strom, uh, a shockwave specialist and sexologist out of Denmark. Yeah, I'm happy to, to be here today. I'm, I'm coming from manual therapy, and I started working with shockwave back in 2016. My daily work consists of shockwave for erectile dysfunction, Peyronie's disease, chronic pelvic pain, and incontinence. So, that is where I am today, and today I'm one of the, the leading shockwave guys in the world in, in this field, participates in, in many conferences, do keynote speaks, and do a, a lot of education, so that's also why the tracking of data is becoming more and more important to me. study shows that shockwave can be a valid but often short-term solution for erectile dysfunction if we have cardiovascular disease or controlled hypertension. So when we so we're, we're relatively new to shockwave ourselves, but in the short time we become aware of it, we do recognize there's a lot of evidence for shockwave uh, and a growing body of evidence in the literature. So why the need for data if there's already a lot of publications? We have stores, we have MTS, we have uh, Richard Wolf, we have uh, Insula, we have Steamwave, we have um, Medispec. We have so many different devices utilizing the free ways of generating a shockwave. And when we look at that, all the studies, it's different protocols. We can see everyone is having effect with the different devices in the different areas. But if we want to, as we want in an expert group, I'm a part of in Europe with different urologists, key opinion leaders within uh, men's health shockwave. If we want to try to do a common protocol or, or get a better sense of what is the right way to do, then we need to track every specific device on how many pulses. And we actually need to go down to what kind of applicator. So if I take the, the source device, the electromagnetic, there's two different applicators. If we take the, the Richard Wolf elevation, there's five different uh, applicators. And if we take the MTS, um, that's an electrohydraulic, they have three different hand pieces. So all of these things we need to track and incorporate to see how are we getting the best effect? For me, when I have all the equipment inside, I'm going to randomize every time I'm getting a client in and say, okay, for this indication, I will believe that this device will be the best. So then I need to do my notes. I need to put in how many pulses, what kind of energy, how many sessions, and what handpiece did I use? Because then we can start getting some really valuable uh, data for for us as clinicians, but also for the companies to see where do they need to go with the development of the devices. Very interesting. So you've launched some circles, which are focused on these four indications that you commonly treat. Talk us a little bit through those circles. How did you design them? Uh, what are their main objectives and missions, um, et cetera? For erectile dysfunction, we are tracking the erectile uh, function, how much is the improvement we're tracking on life quality. So here you can really get a, a good hold on your, your clients to track them over time and get them in again, because our patients that's already reoccurring, coming in back and again and again, that's easier than getting a new client. For Peyronie's disease, we're tracking different aspects. We're tracking pain, function, how much the symptom is uh, bothering them, quality of life, and erectile function. So here we can uh, distinguish from what is coming from the curvature, what is from the erection. And with these clients that are very sensitive, you can really hold them in the hand for a long while because this is a, a long haul game. This is a 12, 24 months progress you're gonna start. With the pelvic pain, which is quite interesting, we're looking at erectile function, that is normally a way when they have the pelvic pain, we're looking at the intensity of the pain, where it's located, how they're going to progress, and how the quality of life is going to um, turn out. So this is also something that's reassuring the client that we are actually taking care of them because they're normally being met and then forgotten the, the traditional system. For incontinence, we're looking into quality of life. We're looking into how much leakage there is, how many times a day, and how is the, the function of the pelvic floor. I said, I've, I've been having these questions from clients for years. How do you track your outcome? What do you do? And I've always been saying, well, I'm, I'm just me in the clinic. What you see is what you get. So I'm also the secretary. I'm also the IT guy. I'm the marketing uh, guy. 
and I'm doing the treatment as well. So I didn't have the capacity with the high amount of clients I had to call everyone or write them a mail, setting up this complex uh, system. So in that way, the, the system with Regenmate is, is really making it easy for me. So that's that's cheating a bit. Excellent. So your clients are your patients, but it sounds like you also work with colleagues quite a bit uh, and help give them guidance and instruction and standards that are emerging within this exciting field. How does the circle play a role in that? Is, is there an opportunity for other either new or even experienced shockwave practitioners to benefit from joining into your study or circle and participating? And if so, what's the benefits for them? Okay, so the, the key point is really that you're going to join my circle. I already been doing the, the hard work, so you can just log in. Then you're going to start tracking the data. You're going to have all the easy things handed directly to you. The second thing is that you're going to have a big care for your clients. Every time they submit a new data point, you can engage them. So they can either come back in or you can say, okay, I can see it's going good. So we just let it go two more months or three months. And you're going to have this reoccurrence of the clients. You're going to have a, a different bond with them. And the third thing is that with all the data you get, you're going to be comparing yourself to me and all the other guys in the circles. So you know how you're doing. You can benchmark yourself. You have a lot of access to knowledge. You can see how I'm progressing. And in that way, you're going to lead your clients to a better state. So please join the circle. It will help all of us to create better protocols for the different areas. And we need to have better protocols so we can attend the care of our clients in the, the best possible manner.